Hello, everybody, and welcome to Resident Evil Seven. But not as a not as a starting up of Resident Evil Seven, unfortunately. Uh, this is one of the videos for Reminisce Week. Um, again, another story-driven one, but it's kind of important to me, so that's why I chose it. Um, it was a lot of debating about if I was going to do this one or not, but then I, uh, I realized why I needed to do it. And I'll explain, of course, in a minute, but first, this beautiful song. I've heard that song so many times. Now, um, if you go over and watch on Dezorian's channel, I actually used I was Patreon on his channel, about a fifty dollar tier, uh, and I used two of those to be into a, this series on his channel. Uh, sorry, I thought I heard something, and this is. One of my favorite games now. Um, it's not going to matter too much. I'm going to create a new game though. Uh, and we are going to go on Madhouse. For a particular reason. Um, I am not as huge a fan of Resident Evil as other people are. This is my favorite Resident Evil game by far. Hey baby, why is there never any freaking subtitles on? Okay. Um, so I'm I'm not gonna worry about this being a cinematic thing here. I'm gonna talk over it. Uh, just simply because I eventually will do a playthrough of this, and I don't want this to be what people think of the first video of that. Um, I was trying to figure out what section I wanted to play, and I was like, the beginning. Has to be the beginning. I gotta get back to work. Uh, I'm gonna kind of be doing a speed run of it. So much. I'm sending but this game, I played places. so many times, so many. It's one of my favorites, and my favorite Resident Evil game by far. Uh, again, a lot of other people won't won't say that. A lot of people love this game, but they won't say it's their favorite. Of course, people will choose the original ones as their favorite. You were right. Medium I quality. Like I shouldn't have. Oh, and uh, another thing oh, you may have noticed throughout this, most of the games I played are on Xbox. That's not uh, by accident. Even the ones I have on PC, Stay uh, I played on Xbox on purpose because I grew up with an Xbox. Um, and that's the whole point of this week, is to, for me to be playing games that I may have not played on the channel. I think all of these I haven't played on the channel. Hey, it's, uh, um, it's Ethan. But they're really important right. to me. For one reason or another. Yeah. Newer or yeah, older. No, good. Either way. Good. Game looks it's gorgeous, me. by the way. She's but dead. She's alive. they she, all she's mean something to me. Now, now, I do have this game on PlayStation. And I, I do know. have a PlayStation yeah. VR headset. I, don't know how, I will be doing a VR version Somehow. of this game at some point in time. Maybe it's uh, I don't have many VR things on, but Dolphin. I will definitely be uh, be doing that at some point. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know. But so this the story is here basically is Mia, the girl at the beginning, happened. went missing, and now Ethan's going to investigate. So, and here's the thing: this right here is gameplay. This is not a cutscene. It goes from cutscene to gameplay, and this is actually in the RE engine. It doesn't look that good currently give it a second I mean it, it does look good again this is also this can also be in 4k I'm pretty sure I just don't have a 4k TV oh it, it does look it does look good though and it does it looks higher quality than I'm used to as well again I have not played this on my Xbox one X hey 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 yeah okay so I'm gonna run through things
I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not scared of this game as much as I was the first time I played it. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Um, but this was this was when I really got into Resident Evil was when I hit this game and I went back and looked at some of the other ones and I enjoyed them. Except her gift. What gift? Oh, and I love this. Hey, Jack. Jack? He's gone. He can't fall in there. I tried. Sorry. I, I really do love this game. Maybe one day I'll be scared of it again, but I've played it so much that I'm not really scared of it anymore. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Maybe I am. Oh. Right. Just gonna go this way. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a hand, dead crows. So I was supposed to be like, why is there I what could have caused that? Womp. Okay. Um. Why? Here we go. Well, that's my footsteps. I got so scared. Maybe I am still scared of this game. In VR, this is t terrifying. Like seriously, I know how, what I, what to do and everything, but it's still terrifying. Ugh. Oh, fuck! Fuck! And it's only available in VR on uh, PlayStation VR, so not even on PC, at least not yet. Water doesn't work. Oh no, we're stopping it from dripping, I guess. Oh, another crow. This is this is nice. Ugh. Hello. So the thing about Madhouse that is quite quite fun is this now these things are used a pretty much every game also I want that but in order to save you must use cassette tapes in Madhouse just like the original original Resident Evil games you had to find cassette tapes in order to save well in this version of the game, you do. In the Madhouse version, uh, you need to find cassette tapes in order to save. That's Maya, I think. Mia. Mia, my. Um, I'm trying to debate. I grabbed the derelict house footage, but I'm not going to play it. I do get scared of that section, though. That's one of the original demos. Uh, I'm not going to, though. Looks like the owners. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. Because I want to get to a particular part.
part um, before the end of this video. But like, just like all the other ones, you, uh, we never, we'll never finish this particular playthrough. So I might do a madhouse playthrough at some point, which I plan on doing. But again, there's a lot of games I plan on doing. Um, this is just to give you a little tidbit of what I like, what means importance to me. Again, a lot of these games are not the type of games I play on a lot of my channel. Um, I do play Resident Evil, and I played Resident Evil 6 and 5 before. Part of... well, full of 6, part of 5. I think we still have to finish 5. I think we were going back through six playing as the other characters, and we just, me and Nancy, haven't gotten time to go ahead and do it. This part in VR, I remember, is absolutely terrifying. I know it's coming, but it's still terrifying in VR. Like that. Ugh. Just start that for a second while I sneeze. Okay. Well, that sure is fun. I'm pretty sure I could do a speedrun of this if I really wanted to, but speedruns, the thing is, I'll probably get a good time like I did with that last. But... And I can be proud of that time, but it won't be the top speed running time. Because someone's always yeah. figure out how to do it better. Mia. I'm not going to look at that again. I'm not looking at everything. Just enough to get you an idea of the game. I know this is story driven. I was debating doing some DLCs, but no. It's really the uh, story that means a lot to me. Found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Okay. <laughs> And this part always irritates me. I can't walk past her, so I have to wait for her slow button. Like in a in a speed run, you're gonna lose a lot of time here because you have to you have to actually wait for her to move in this section. Has it really been three years? And you can't go anywhere until she moves, and you can't go behind her. They have an invisible wall behind her. And you just, you have to move with her. And that's what I hate in games, is when characters are going what is this place? so slow. What do they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. I could easily fit by you. Easily. The wall would not go all the way out here. <sighs> they don't want you running in front of the character, though. To talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Ah, uh, hurry. You walk really slow. You know where you're going. Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. Go. There. 
it's there. Open the door. This is it. And I'm free. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Right here? Right there? It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. It's there. We're going to be a family now that you're here. Why? There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Mia. We gotta get out of here. I know. Just stay here, alright? I'm gonna have a look around. I've always been scared of this part. Ooh. Okay, there's the door. Oh my gosh, the stairs, these stairs, man. Nothing is ever in that drawer. We'll get a phone call on that. There's a map in here. <laughs> fluid there. There is fluid there. Nothing there. Yes. Knock, knock. Yes. Someone home? Oh, gosh, no. No, no, no. Nope. Fine. Uh. Uh. Hi. Hi. Oh. Jeez. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, goodness. Ow. Man. to hit yourself pretty hard. Are you, Mia? Who knows? Goop juice. There you go. Just put it over you. It's fine. It's not open. What about this door? Not open. Anything in here? No. Okay. Hello? There it is. Oh, that's so creepy. I I would love to. I mean, other I mean, you are my wife, but I, oh, oh, careful. Don't don't mind me. I got an axe. Drip juice. Hi. You shouldn't have called me then. Now you want to be dead too. Really? Huh? I have never died.
died there before. To be fair, we are in a madhouse, so. It's fair. Mia has lost it. Counter her madness with an axe to survive. Oh. I have to go through this again? Oh, that's a terrible system. Okay, okay. Come on. There we go. Right there. It's fine. She's fine. Just has an axe on her side. It's fine. Okay, bye. Phone call. Answer it. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Why? Then what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. Go there. Now. Now she says. She's gone. Always like walking around doing this too. Um. Do the bolt cutters? I do. So we need to go this way. Do this, and we need to go snip snip, which will give us the fuse. We'll see Mia walking across here. Then we'll go upstairs, put the fuse in. Come, well, no, not go upstairs to put the fuse in. We go down here to put the fuse in. And then we go out, and we go upstairs to turn it on. Hey, it's okay. Hey. It's okay, it's me. Oh, uh, oh no, nothing behind your back there. Nothing at all. You shouldn't have done that. Okay. Okay. It Chill. fucking hurt. Okay, that hurt. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, come on, Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. Grab my hand. Um, I'm spewing blood from my stub of a hand. There it is. 
I'm going to create a new save data though for it. We're not done yet though. I want to get to a particular point as I've been trying to. Okay. Fine. I'm going to need to be at full health. Okay, I need to go get some ammo in this room. Um, and before I play this again, obviously... Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought something was there. I thought they were freaking... So scared. I'm gonna break all these boxes. Okay, those are definitely not in the same spot they normally are. Okay, well. I've never found that there before. Again, different spot, but we have enough. Let's go. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Hey, Mia. That she just rips down the door. What are you hiding? What don't you want me to know? I don't know where she's coming from. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Mia, Mia, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Mia, chill. Chill. nice so yeah I'll just yeah gonna try to leave I'm actually kind of scared of this part oh there it is now here's the thing we land next to Mia <laughs> Mia's body was not there Mia's body was on the other side oh jeez I was, I was scared, because you never know when it's going to happen. You're just walking around. Damn, he's strong. Oh, he's so strong. <laughs> 
Is it title card time? Come on. Don't you die on us now? I don't think I don't think it is. I think title do. card was a while ago. So this is how we get our hand back. Kinda interesting. Again, I'm rushing through this, so this is why it's only taking a half hour. It would take a lot longer if I took my time. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to stop here and we'll leave everything beyond this point up to interpretation. I guess, or until I play it on the channel, or until you watch it. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This game has all of these on the list. mean a lot to me. Again, if you just check through, like, a bunch of Days of Orient's videos, I'm always, like, asking him, when are you playing Resident Evil 7? Maybe you can get to Resident Evil 7. I love this game. It's I just really love it. This is a big part of my life. How long have I played this? Because I played it a lot on here. I'm actually curious to see. Why? Why is Resident Evil 7 promoting that? Okay, I have 42 out of 58 achievements. And I played four days and two minutes worth. So again, uh, almost this is about 33 minutes. So you can subtract roughly how much. But I have played a lot of this. That's over 72 hours of gameplay on this game. Times completed for rank one out of seven friends. I'm the only one on my friends list out of like... How many people I have? 44 online. How many offline? A hundred and ninety-seven offline. Out of that many, I'm the only one that's completed the game four times. So this game does mean a lot to me, uh, and I'm excited to share it with you guys whenever I get around to playing it. Again, I don't know when I will get around to doing it it'll be a while probably hopefully in 2020 i'll make it a goal to play through resident evil 7 in 2020 sometime hopefully um as as much as all these games um yeah but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video goodbye